Oh, hi students. Um, so I'm in the structural model here and I've made some further refinements. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the way it should be done or anything, but I'm just saying that this is my strategy here. Uh, so I've done a few things. I've added kind of the ladder uh, at the side there and uh, putting these in, the most important thing that you do here is uh, if I do a right click and say create similar, make sure you've got that 3D snapping on because it'll snap from there to there and there to there and it'll follow that slopey level the whole way down. So that's the way I did that. Um, I've also put in underneath uh, some cross uh, beams they're going on the uh, on the columns and then I'm running a center beam down here as well. Um, and again, I, you know, I, I, I don't want you to get over hung up on the structure here as such. OK, because uh, the structural engineer is going to come in and make certain recommendations. And that's just part of the iterative process, you know, doing that. Uh, you might remember that um, I had a beam in across here and that was one that was puncturing through the curtain walling. So, um, I talked about uh, moving these columns or removing these columns, but I think going, I'm going to leave them. I was just able to take that beam out and uh, that has kind of solved the problem there for me more than anything else. All right. So uh, it's always an iterative process. Um, I have saved this and then I'm going to synchronize with Central. Modify the settings. We'll go OK. And then I'm going to close this down. And yeah, the other thing I did do was I removed, if you remember, I had a roof in here. I removed that roof because I'm going to create the roof in the architectural model. It gives me a little bit more uh, leeway to be able to do that. Okay, so file, close. Now, one thing I want you to do on a regular basis here, do you see this where it says update available? All right. So um, if you check that, it brings up this uh, uh, tool here called the publish. And uh, so I'm going to publish that and publish it up. Now, what that does is that it actually publishes it up to uh, ACC. So it publishes the up to date. Um, it publishes the up to date uh, edits that you've done. So if I go into my structural engineer here, you can see now that that is file processing that is updating there. Um, and just to show you where that uh, is, uh, uh, why it's required by myself and uh, Olivia and, and David as well, that you do this, that you publish on a regular basis, is that now I can um, click into this one here within ACC and I'm getting access uh, to the model. All right. Now, um, so uh, what I can do here is... Um, I can add uh, issues and notes and things like that. And that's kind of the, how you would, uh, again, partially it's sort of process. And you can see that this one isn't uh, up to date. I've done a lot more work than that uh, because I need to publish up, basically. Uh, also, um, do I have any sheets? I have no sheets included in that. I'm going to show you how you can include sheets uh, in that as well. And I just hit the return there okay let's just go into the structural engineer it's still publishing up so it takes a while uh, to do that okay but i want you to regularly publish up and you can see this is version seven over here and that happens uh, now any, anybody on the team can do that all right so latest is published it's up and uh, and that's great now uh so i'm going to go to my whip here and into my architectural and uh, it's the sample one I'm working here. So again, I need to publish that, but I want to open it at the moment. So uh, I'll publish it after I've done that. Ooh, okay. Uh, do not load the file. Continue loading. That is going to say my team be erased. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, not seen that message before, but let's see what happens here. <sighs> Uh, so it's so important that you, you save and synchronize on a regular basis. Okay, now you can see that my uh, structure has now been updated and I don't have a beam puncturing through there. And I've got my ladders here and um, got some funny going on over there. Maybe that's what that problem was. Okay, don't know if I want that to come through. Actually, if I come around here, take a look at that. 
Yeah, we'll just push that down, I think, to where it should be in around there somewhere. Okay, so we'll fixture that there in a minute. Oh, uh, now one thing I didn't do was um, didn't fix those columns. Uh, I don't want them kind of disappearing. I actually, I want them exposed or not exposed. So I'll do that next time I'm there. Um, okay, so this is where I am. Um, uh, I've got that. Uh, I'm now going to put it. I'm going to probably put a zinc roof uh, up here, something like that. Um, most of everything else is kind of there. So I can start taking a, a look at the interior now. So if I go into my ground floor plan and I've got my um, uh, PDF uh, underneath here, uh, I can now design the um, interior walls. And I will probably, again, I want these made in the factory and brought out. So I'll probably have CLT but I'll also have a service cavity and a finish on either side of the wall as well. Uh, so I'll start dropping those in, uh, start popping in the doors, whatever else. Now, uh, you're going to ask me perhaps, uh, well, how do we divide up the work here? Well, somebody can be looking at the stairs. Somebody can be looking at the elevator. I think I've, within this project, I think I've given you an elevator door um, uh, family. Um, somebody can start dropping in the um the walls okay somebody can start looking at the at the doors there uh, what type of doors you're going to use and we're going to have to address that situation of the um those just give me a second here now and uh here it is here. So I'm going to bring this across here. So we've got all of this uh, to do as well. So I'm going to put my mind to that now today and see what way we're going to come up with that. So these are the, uh, these kind of pagoda style things that are there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to have a little think about how I'm going about, how, how I'm going to go about uh, creating those two. And again, that's one job that, uh, uh, one of the team members could start looking at as well. All right.